Vatanım demese, devrini sezmese, bir yürek süreksiz et olup kala. Мы находимся на крымско-татарской вечерке в поддержку единого крымско-татарского телеканала АТР. Этот вечер был организован Ассоциацией Крымских Татар Канады. Мы, крымские татары, хотим иметь школы, где наши дети могут узнать язык и историю наших людей. Создать культурные центры, иметь новости и телевизионные каналы. And we were able to do all that after Soviet Union collapsed, and we were finally able to move back to our homeland. Following the tragic events in 2014 and annexation of Crimea, the leaders of Crimean Tatars were banned from Russia. Many activists were imprisoned. A number of Crimean Tatars were abducted, tortured, and killed by so-called self-defense force of Crimea. The issue of Crimea is very pressing. People in Crimea are suffering because the Russian puppet government in Crimea is brutally violating all the human rights norms, yet the international community does not pay enough attention to what's happening. There's a false narrative that we constantly have to fight against. Crimea is not historically Russian land. The Crimean Tatars settled those lands before the predecessor state of Russia, Muscovia, even existed. And when Muscovia came into existence, it was 1,300 kilometers away. Crimea was annexed to what was then the Russian Empire in 1783 and remained part of that empire and its Soviet successor state until 1954. That is a period of 170 years. Since 1954, Crimea has been a part of Ukraine. That is for 60 years. But the longest period of rule in, U in Crimea was from the mid 15th to late 18th centuries. That is roughly 330 years when it was part of the Crimean Khanate ruled by the ancestors of the Crimean Tatars as a vassal state of the Ottoman Empire. Now, as for the population of Crimea, it was never Russian, nor for that matter even Slavic. The age-old farthest extent of Slavic settlement was the Ross River, which is only about 100 kilometers south of Kiev. Russians, and to a lesser extent Ukrainians, began to settle in Crimea only from the outset of the 19th century. Crimea is not a historic Russian land, but rather Crimea, a part of Ukraine, is the historic land of the Crimean Tatars. Tonight we are fundraising for ATR channel, the only one Crimean Tatar channel in the world. After Russian puppet government organized multiple raids and attacks to avoid its complete extinction, the channel decided to move to Kiev and broadcast online. However, they need money to pay for the satellite to be able to broadcast more widely, including in Crimea. Crimean TV broadcasts 24 hours in three languages. Crimean Tata, Ukrainian, and Russian. Perhaps a separate campaign should be launched to find donors who could fund Crimean Tata television and internet programming in English. President Poroshenko said, until the return of Crimea to its historical determined place within Ukraine, our key task is to protect citizens' rights and freedoms in Crimea and provide support to any source of legitimate resistance to the Russian occupants and their local puppets. The Canadian Association of Crimean Tatars will sign a memorandum of cooperation with the League of Ukrainian Canadians. Both organizations will cooperate on current and future projects, organizing events, promoting Crimean Tatar and Ukrainian cultures. 
that will also jointly engage in government relations for the benefit of both communities. Turkey fully supports the territorial integrity of Ukraine and the Crimea to be a part of it. We have never accepted what happens and we will never accept and we will be in full solidarity with you in your cause. The actual liberation of Crimea and its reunification with Ukraine as an autonomous republic ultimately depends on two factors. The elimination of Russia's historical imperialist mindset and above all, on us, the Ukrainian and Crimean Tatar peoples. And our common struggle, no matter what it takes and no matter how long it takes. There was a long period of time that no one believed that the Crimean Tatars would ever be able to return to their homeland. The experts were wrong at that time. And today, once again, we hear experts saying that that's it. Russia is in Crimea to stay. That the military occupation and annexation cannot be reversed. But I believe that, once again, people like Mustafa Jamiliev and others who've been displaced will return and that the Crimean Tatars will once again have a homeland where they will be free.